to be kind of like a beauty basic video or like a makeup starter kit video kind of those two things jam-packed together this is a video i've been wanting to do for a while just because a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a video like this a lot of you guys are beginners with makeup and you don't know how to just jump into makeup and i'm here to help you do that i have everything covered from brushes to primers to eyeshadows just basically anything that i think should be in a beginner's kit or someone like if you're just going get to buy makeup for the first time some items that you may possibly want to invest in because they are some really good items now i do have a mix of drugstore and high-end products that way you guys can get a feel for both um most of the products are drugs so i will go ahead and say that though um just because most of the time when you are a beginner you are looking for less expensive products to invest your money into and then over time you can like get some more like higher end products so i hope you guys really like this video and uh, without further ado let's get into it so the first thing that i have to share with you guys for this video is a set of brushes and these are from vanity planet and this is the vanity planet brush set and these are called the palette which i thought was pretty cool they were called the palette um so what this is is a set of 15 makeup brushes and these brushes are super duper soft and just super duper great as far as quality goes and two of my brushes are missing because they were like super super dirty and they got washed last night so they haven't had a chance to make it back into here but this does come with 15 brushes and what i love is that they have a brush for everything they have an eyeshadow brush a blending crease brush a um, concealer brush a highlighting brush a powder brush a contouring brush i mean any brush that you would need as a beginner or even if you're advanced into makeup is pretty much in this little brush set um i also love that it comes with the case because it makes it great for traveling if you're going to be moving around a lot this is also really really great to have in your makeup kit um for 15 brushes it's only 30 dollars so you do have to use my coupon code which is glowing and there will be a link down below to take you to the site if you're interested in getting these brushes I feel like that's like one of the best deals ever, especially for a really soft and great quality and high quality brush. They don't shed. I haven't had any issues with them and I really do enjoy these brushes. So you guys should definitely get some of these for your beginner's makeup kit. So next I will be sharing with you guys foundations. Now I chose two brands of foundations to share with you guys. Both of these are drugstore. I love them both for different reasons and I will get into why. But I have for you guys the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I also have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Now, I originally was using this like nonstop for several months. And then um, I stopped using it and I ended up switching to this. And I've been using it ever since. Now, um, I like both for two different reasons. I really love the Maybelline Fit Me Foundations just because they have like, a super wide shade range. Basically what I'm trying to say, you'll be able to match yourself perfectly with this brand. They have like every single color available and I just really love it. Um, the formula is great. The matte and poreless, it doesn't really keep me super matte. Um, it's kind of like a demi matte. So if you want a full on matte foundation, this probably won't be best for you. But if you don't mind the finish of your foundation, I would definitely try this brand. It's like $5 or $6 at Target, depending on what area you're in. And now with the L'Oreal uh, Infallible Pro Matte Foundation, um, I don't know what made me stop using it, but I've been wearing it for like the last two days and I'm even wearing it now. I didn't use a primer or a setting spray and it's still pretty matte and I've been like outside and everything and I've had it on for like six plus hours. So this is really, really great if you want more of a matte kind of foundation. It definitely doesn't have as many shades available as the Maybelline Fit Me, but I think this is the better foundation out of the two. It's just super matte but it also gives you a natural skin look my mother was like Catherine, your skin looks amazing and it was because of this foundation so i really do like this one better out of the two but if you are not too sure about matching yourself this is definitely the better one to go with just because of the why also both of these are drugstore products they can be found in drugstores online and in ulta as well so you can find these babies like anywhere. So next I'll be sharing with you guys some really affordable concealers that I think should be a part of anyone's makeup kit. And you guys should probably be able to predict these and these are the LA Girl Pro Concealers. And here I just have a lighter shade one and a darker shade one 
one which I use to highlight and one which I use to contour. I think once again, these are really great products just because of the wide shade range. You guys will often hear me saying that throughout this video about shade range, shade range, shade range, shade range. Like that is just so important to me. Um, being able to find a color that actually fits your skin, that's not too dark and that's not too light and has the right undertone. So with products like these, you can really experiment because there are so many shades available. This is a cream based product, so it's super easy easy to blend and they're like really affordable they're like I think like $2.99 a piece and they last quite a long time so this is a product that I like use and I stop using I use and stop using but I really really do love these products and I really am here for them so next I'm kind of going to jump around a little bit and I'm going to kind of switch things up and go to lip colors just because I kind of get these out the way and these are both from ColourPop and I just really recommend all ColourPop lip products whether it's their ultra matte lips, their satin lips, their ultra glossy lips like whatever the case is. Their lip colors are just amazing and they're super affordable. I think they have the most affordable liquid lipstick on the market right now. I know NYX's lingerie lips are like $7 and these still beat that because they're six bucks a piece. So I say color pop all day long. Um, they're really, really great, really, really beautiful colors. I'm wearing a combination of these two now, which is limber, the which is which is limb i'm so excited which is limbo and beeper um and i just really like them they're really long lasting and they were pretty much i think some of my first with the lipsticks besides cab on d and i just always end up going back to these so if you want an affordable lip color that's really pretty and that's affordable once again then definitely go for color pop they have so many different colors and i promise you will be satisfied so now I'm going to jump back to face products, like main face products, and I'm going to go to a face primer, and then I'm also going to immediately go to powder because both of these things come from the same brand, and um, I don't want you guys to miss out on any of my coupon codes that I have available for you all. So the next thing I want to bring up is my Sasha uh, Buttercup, well not, no, not the Sasha Buttercup, the Sasha Mattifying Face Primer. And I really, really love this face primer. Um, whether I'm wearing like a dewy foundation or a matte foundation, it helps really control the oils on my face especially on like a hot summer day um or if it's just like humid or if it's just any type of heat um this really helps control oils on your face and i really do love it it's not super heavy and once you apply it on your face you don't even realize that it's still there so i really do love this product and then to set my makeup um even when i use the primer i still want to go back and do a little bit more um, for oil control and just to make sure everything is set in place and I go in with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder You guys see me use this in like every makeup tutorial I use it every single day and I've been using it every day for like the past like four months and look how much is still left like this lasts forever um, The powder is like finely milled. So it's like super great. It has a little bit of color to it But I think with it being so finely milled it's still kind of acts like a translucent powder in a sense so i really do like it and um both of these like i said are by sasha cosmetics so i do have a coupon code which is dell one for you guys if you're interested in trying either of these products um you can get a little bit of money off i just really love sasha cosmetics for women of color so if you're a woman of color like myself you definitely want to try this setting powder it won't make you look ghostly it won't make you have cake face and it'll definitely control your oils. So the next two things are both by NYX and they are both eyeliners. And I think it's just always great to have a good eyeliner. I love me a good wing liner. I mean, it's just bomb. So I love to use my NYX liquid black liner and this is from the Noir collection as well as the NYX Coal liner which is also from the Noir collection. They're just super dark, super pigmented. This one is a liquid liner and this one is like a pencil liner. Um, and I I love both equally. I mean, I use them each for different things. This one for the wing, of course, and I use this one to like line my lower lash line. But once again, both of them are super bomb, super great, super dark, and super pigmented. And I think they're just some of the best liquid liners that I've ever used. Well, not liquid liners, but just eyeliners that I've ever used, period, that are on the market. Oh, but I will have to say that if you are like not steady handed, like if you shake a lot um, when you're applying makeup, you may not wanna use this liquid liner. I'm gonna tell you why. 
Um, the applicator, even though it's kind of short as far as the brush goes, you have to be like super steady and super precise so you don't jack up your wing. So if you haven't got to that point yet, um, I don't know if I necessarily like recommend this to you. But for what it does um, on its own, like the product itself, it's still really great. So next, I'm going to stick with the eyes and I'm going to go in with mascara. And my favorite mascara ever, I've been using this for like the last several years and it is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. No, Lash Sensational. I always have trouble saying that. It's in this little rose gold pinkish tube and I absolutely adore it. It's the mascara that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. I'm not wearing any false lashes at all. You can probably tell. Um, but I just really like it. It's super bold. It makes my lashes stand out. Um, I probably put like 50 coats on but it doesn't make my lashes clump up or anything and I just think it's amazing. It lengthens them but it also thickens them at the same time and if y'all see me in person without mascara or lashes on y'all will know my lashes are in like the struggle department like they suck but this mascara really brings them to life and I don't have to wear lashes or at least I feel like I don't have to wear lashes when I use this mascara. It also comes in a waterproof version as well. I'm not a big fan of waterproof mascaras but if you cry a lot, if you are gonna be crying, if it's if you're gonna be wet for some reason, you can get the waterproof version, but I just like to stick to the like traditional non-waterproof version. So next, we're going to stay on the kind of eyes and we're gonna go to eyeshadows. Now, originally, I just pulled a palette that I want to show you guys and then I end up pulling some more and more palettes um, just to give you guys a little bit of variety depending on what you like specifically. So the first palette um, that I think is important um, for anyone to have in their kit is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I think this was my first or second high-end like eyeshadow palette ever and this is still a palette that I go back to. Um, I originally bought it just because of the chocolatey smell but I really do enjoy the just neutral tones in this palette. I just think they're really great. This is not the most pigmented palette at all. But with it not being super pigmented, I think that it's good for a beginner because it allows you to build up product. I know as a beginner, when I was working with products that were super pigmented, it was like I put a little bit on and it was just too much and I wasn't good at blending yet and it just became a hot mess like real quick. So with uh, eyeshadows that you have to kind of build up to see the color, I think that's really good for a beginner, which is why I recommend this uh, palette. Now if you're more advanced and you want more pigment, you may not want to go for this palette before a beginner. I think this will work really, really well. Also, it's mostly like nude shadows and I think those are also good for beginners. Um, I know as a beginner, I didn't really want to venture out into anything too crazy. So if you want to stay safe, this is the palette you should go for. Um, I think this retails for about 50 bucks. So if you're looking for something that's like half the cost of that, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull out a second palette out of my palette drawer for you guys. And this is the Morphe palette, the Morphe 350 palette actually. And what I love about the Morphe eyeshadow palettes is that you get a whole lot of shadows and a whole lot of colors. I mean, they're still in the same like color fam, like this orange theme. But you get a whole lot for your money. I think this is like 22 bucks, And they have different ones. They have like the Morphe um, 35P, 35S, 35K. And each different palette has like a different color scheme. So you can pick a color scheme of colors that you know that you're going to wear quite often. And then you can just get that palette um, to kind of, you know, play with and get used to wearing eyeshadows. So I think this is a really great palette. It comes with 35 neutral shades, once again, for 25 bucks. So it just depends really on how you want to spend your money. You can get like one of these for 50 bucks, or you can get like two of these for 50. It just all comes down to how you want to spend. And if you want to save even more money, you can just do some ColourPop eyeshadows. I think these are like five bucks a piece. And I really love ColourPop shadows. Most of them do work best if you apply them with your fingers and most beginners do like to work with their fingers. So if you wanna stay like in that comfort zone or that little area of working with your hands, I think ColourPop is the way to go. And like I said, $5 a piece. I have like collected just so many of these cause they're so inexpensive, but they're super pigmented and they work really, really well. So the last thing I want to mention about eyes, just to go ahead and finish them out, are like lashes and lash glue. And I think any lashes will work. Um, these are some really good lashes from the beauty supply store that I used to go crazy over. I bought like 100 pairs of... Okay guys, my 
Is my camera focusing? Focus. Okay, sorry, I got my camera cut off because earlier I thought I had it on the charger, but I really didn't. And so it didn't have as much battery life as I thought. But let me hurry up and finish this uh, before it cuts off again. So I was talking about lashes and um, pretty much lash glue. And so some lashes that I grabbed are from the Beauty Supply store. And I have like, I think about 50 to 100 pairs of these that I ordered just because they are so good. And these are by the beauty supply store brand called Broadway, which you can also get online. And these are about, I think, $1.99 a piece. And these are just some wispy lashes. Now, I don't necessarily recommend you have this particular brand because it may be hard to find in your area. But I do recommend that you just have some type of wispy lash. I think wispy lashes are just great for everyday looks, especially if you're just starting out with makeup. You don't want to do lashes that are just too over the top and just like wham bam no thank you ma'am no you need some good wispy lashes and i think any drugstore brand is pretty great ardell has some really cute ones too and then the last glue that i like to use is duo for a long time y'all don't tell anybody but i was using hair bonding or like weed glue for my lashes and it honestly actually worked pretty well but i didn't think that was probably the safest to be putting around my eyes. So I finally got some Duo Lash Glue. And these actually do hold my lashes on better. Now when you're removing this, you do have to be careful if you put a whole lot of glue because it will take your lashes out. Um, but that's the thing, you don't need a whole, whole lot of this to apply your lashes. So I think that's what really makes this a good product as well. So now I'm going to jump around a little bit and I am going to go to brows and then I'm going to finish up like face stuff. So I think for brows, the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade is just good. I've tried other brow products, brow pencils, other brow gels, but I always just go back to this product. It's super consistent and I just think it's really great for anyone um, who is trying to do their brows and it lasts a super long time. I've had this one for several months now um i think about four months and i mean it's still good as new so i haven't had to add anything to it it's just been awesome it gives me really nice thick and full looking brows and i mean i just really love it so the last couple of things are all going to be like final face products so the next thing i have is another like face powder this one's like an all over face powder and it's the black radiant soft focus powder as you can see um the label has like scratched off and i have hit pan on this product i absolutely love it i say this is very comparable to my max skin finish powder i mean it's just great it gives me a really nice matte finish it helps control oils on my face all day long and I think like the colors are just on point. Like looking at this, you wouldn't think that this is like a color that would work for like an all over powder for my skin tone, but it works really nice. It kind of just marinates into your skin. And I really, really love that about it. So I highly, highly recommend this product. And once again, it's another drugstore product. Some other Black Radiance products that I highly recommend are their contour palettes. And they have a light to medium palette and then a medium to dark palette. And so I haven't actually used a light to medium palette. They sent me this one, but the dark, the medium to dark palette I actually bought myself. And this is the one that I've been using like crazy just because I think this one works a little bit better for my skin tone. But as you can see, they both include like a contouring and sculpting powder, which are two darker powders. And then on the end, they have like highlight colors. So if you want more of like a champagne, um, like a champagne silvery highlight then the light to medium palette work for you but if you want more of like a golden bronzy highlight then the medium to dark palette work for you but with them being drugstore products you can definitely probably afford both and then you can like switch between both or add them together or like do whatever you need to do but i just really really love this palette as a whole. So one of the last face things I'm going to show you guys is a blush palette and this is from BH Cosmetics. Now I did not order this from BH Cosmetics. I actually found this in Marshalls. Um, lately in TJ Maxx and Marshalls they've been having so many great like makeup brands. They've had BH Cosmetics. I've seen Kat Von D, NARS, Too Faced. Um, I mean my ring just fell off my finger. I mean, they've been having some really great products. So they've had so many BH Cosmetics products. And one of the BH Cosmetics products that I got was this blush palette. 
and um i actually got two of their blush palettes but i do recommend the professional blush palette they have different names and I'm trying to get it open and this is just what the blushes look like now i'm not really a blush person but i will say this has some really pretty neutral tone blushes like i'm not a big pink blush kind of girl but they do have some really nice neutral and orange tone blushes in here that i think will work great for women of color and i think this was like six bucks at marshall's i believe it's closer to probably 15 on the bh cosmetics website but definitely check your local marshall's and tj maxx for uh makeup brands and makeup products because they do have some really good gems there so the last product i'm recommending for you guys to have in your beginner's beauty kit is of course a finishing spray to kind of finish off all your makeup and to just make your look last all day or all night long and here i have the urban decay all nighter makeup setting spray and i have this little uh one fluid ounce and i also have the four ounce version uh, i bought this one for this video just because this one is a little bit less expensive than the four ounce bottle um since it is a starter kit like i said you don't want to go too crazy on spending money um but i think this is a product definitely worth buying it really makes your makeup just stay in place and just last all day long i remember um on the fourth of july i did this really extravagant fourth of july makeup i went outside it was just hot like so like just uh the heat was like smothering me and i was sweating and everything i went to the bathroom and checked my makeup and it did not move it was actually a little bit more vibrant than it was like before i left the house so i just was like after that day i was like this finishing spray is the business now if you're going more for a matte finish this kind of kills the matte finish it does add a little bit of dewiness to the skin i will say um, so if I am definitely going for like a dewy look and I need my makeup to stay in place all day, I definitely reach for this. But if I'm going So that was everything in what I think should be in a like beginner beauty makeup kit. Um, any coupon codes or any deals that I have for you guys will be down below in the description box. And all the products will be listed again down below as well. Um, I really hope this was helpful for you guys who are just getting into makeup and you may not know where to start or you know where to start, but it just hasn't really worked out for you. I hope this video kind of gives you guys some guidance. Definitely let me know if you want more like beauty basics and beginners type of tutorials and videos and everything like that i really love doing beginners videos because not too long ago i was a beginner literally like two years ago guys i was just getting into makeup and i was just buying stuff that i saw like big youtubers use and that's not always the right way to go especially when you're starting out so um definitely let me know if you like this video down below and i would definitely be sure to come back with some more content like this um so that's all that i have for now and i will see you guys in my next video